In terms of the application requirements at Stevens Institute of Technology, um, you need to uh, complete the online application on our application portal. So if you go onto our website, which is a brand new website, by the way, it just launched yesterday. Um, if you go onto our website and you complete, you need to complete the application on the website directly and you need to indicate SBJIMR. Um, sorry, I miswrote that. It's SBJIMR. Um, for the agreement. And that automatically allows the system to know that you are a student through the collaborated program and automatically your application is tagged as such. You will need to submit two recommendation letters to Stevens. Uh, they could be from your, of course, your home institution or um, employment letters. We do need to see a statement of purpose because when Brian is reviewing your applications or the other faculty members, they do wanna see what you're hoping to achieve out of uh, your time at Stevens. Why you wanna do this program? Why specifically Stevens Institute of Technology? Stevens is a very highly sought after university, which means that certainly uh, while we want you here, we want to make sure that we are a good fit for you and that you are a good fit for the university. We do need English proficiency test results, so TOEFL, IELTS, or Duolingo. Um, we also um, could waive your, or we could do a TOEFL waiver interview on your behalf for this, um, for this English proficiency um, instead of you writing the test, but I believe it does mean that upon arrival, you would have to take the ELC test, or it's called OCPE test. Um, and um, that is upon arrival. So if you do have uh, English proficiency test results through the Duolingo, which is an at-home test, and you can do it in a very few moments, um, certainly it would be beneficial as well. We do want to see a resume. You will be required to conduct an interview um, for completion of your application, along with a faculty member from Stevens Institute of Technology. Throughout that interview, you're going to be asked things about why you want this program, why you want Stevens Institute of Technology. Tell us a little bit about your background. Um, what are you hoping to do post-graduation? Things like that. And we do, of course, want to see transcripts. Um, we do want to see a GPA of about a 3.0 or higher. But if, you, if your GPA is a little less than that, I still do encourage you to apply. It never hurts to apply. Um, but I think, of course, it's very important um, that you do your best at your university to make sure that you are receiving those high GPAs. And of course, we would need the Poly's approval um, to make sure that you can be part of our coordinated program. Now, what is not required? First and foremost, when you apply and you submit your application, normally students are required to pay an application fee. Because of the benefit of the coordinated program, that application fee is waived for you. So once you submit your application, if you are prompted by the system to pay that fee, do not pay it. The system will recognize that you are part of the coordinated program and will automatically waive that within 24 hours. The other piece that is not required is the GRE or GMAT scores. However, if you have a, G, uh, a GMAT score or a GRE score that I would say is very high. So if you're looking at 680 and above um, or 700 and above uh, in terms of your GMAT, I highly recommend that you upload that on the system, even though the system might not ask you for it because it is waived for the coordinated program. But I do believe that having a really high GRE or GMAT is incredibly beneficial for an applicant, especially in the situations where your GPA might not quite be where you wanted it to be, right? Um, as we do a holistic review process. Now, if your GRE is really not up to that standard, please do not upload it to the system. I repeat, if your GRE or GMAT is not to that standard, do not upload it. Once I have a GRE or GMAT score uploaded to the system, we have to consider it as part of the review process. And that is a Department of Education guideline. So uh, with that, please do keep that in mind. Could I add one thing right there, Dina? Of course. In addition, I 100, 
in 10% agree with everything that Dina says and, and said. That goes for the past and the future. But the only thing I wanted to add that um, GMAT scores or GRE equivalents of 700 plus also um, give you a very good chance of receiving a guaranteed graduate assistantship um, on campus. So not only will it help with your admission decision, it might la land you a job um, working with the School of Business once you do arrive. Excellent. Thank you, Brian, for that. Um, and that is why we are a good team. Um, so with that, I do want to thank you all for taking the time uh, to speak with us. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at graduatestevens.edu.